Welcome to the fifth chapter in TI Position Lab series on stepper motors. My name is Wang Li, and today I will discuss DK mode of stepper motors. In order for stepper motors to run smoothly and have a good microstep resolution, stepper motors require process current control or regulation. In order to achieve high efficiency process current control, a H bridge with four facets control each winding current direction and amplitude by chopping the current that flows through the motor. After the upper current reaches each micro step current regulation point, I trip. H bridge facets disconnect the forward voltage source VM to the coil terminal to stop driving the upper current above I trip. But the inductive upper current will keep the same direction during this PWF period. The upper current drop rate is decided by the coil terminal voltage and the motor back EMF. To have a good closed loop PWM current regulation, the DK mode selects the recirculation current path and determines how fast or slow the current drop once the current reaches the regulation point. In slow decay mode during the drive off time, the recirculation current is allowed to flow through two conducting facets of the H bridge. For example, where the two low side facets. The coil terminal voltage and the decay rates is limited by RDI sound of the facets. In fast decay mode, the stepper motor coil is driven in opposite direction by reversing the H bridge for a period of time until the PWM off period ends or the coil current is zero. This method forces the recirculation current to decay at faster rate compared to the slow decay mode. Fast decay results in large current ripple amplitude. The slow decay mode and the fast decay mode are the basic decay modes. Other decay modes are derived from those two basic decay modes. The ripple in slow decay mode is small since the current drop rate is small. But slow decay can cause loss of regulation and noise when the winding current is higher than the trip point. This is because slow decay will not decay the current fast enough to get the current to the desired level. This can be caused by too low of a winding inductance at current riding quadrant, or too high of an inductance in current falling quadrant. Fast decay mode can bring the winding current down quickly, but the current ripple will be larger and result in lower torque. Mix the decay as it sounds is a mixture of fast and slow decay. Mixed decay begins at fast decay, and after a certain time, full bridge switches to slow decay for the remaining period of the fixed off time. With the mixed decay, you can get benefit from both fast and slow decay. A small current ripple and bring winding current down fast enough. With an optimized fast decay percentage, the winding current can quickly be regulated near the ideal current level. The mixed decay has a fixed percentage of fast decay period, which can make the upper current follow the desired waveform. But the fixed percentage of fast decay could result in a higher ripple amplitude to cover all input voltage range and motor back EMF condition. Smart tuning decay can automatically make the desired sinusoidal waveform and keep a small ripple amplitude. Also, when the motor drivers allow the ripple current to cross the zero current, a smooth sinusoidal waveform can be formed near the zero current. The motor winding ripple current will be changed due to the changes of the input voltage, the motor inductance, the motor spinning speed, the PWM cycle time, and the loop resistance voltage drop. 
a mixed decay could not optimize the winding ripple current for all of the above variant combinations. A smart tune dynamic decay is introduced to automatically adjust the fast decay percentage to get stable PWM frequency and optimize the ripple current. That can save development time and engineering effort. From previous page, we know the goal of decay mode is keeping the winding current close to the ideal sinusoidal waveform and minimizing the ripple amplitude. On top of that goal, a special decay mode could achieve a special function, such as the ripple control decay for sensorless store detection function. The ripple control decay is a slow decay with a fixed ripple current amplitude instead of the traditional slow decay's fixed T-off time. The motor speed is proportional to the coil back EMF and can be estimated with the ripple control decay. When the motor is stored, the torque count drops to indicate the stored condition. For more information on stepper motors and TI-integrated stepper drivers, please visit the stepper driver page on TI.com.